Hello, welcome to the season premiere of Women's Business Report. I'm Deanna V. Seth Nelson at Hera Hub DC, and today we're going to take a look at some fantastic women who are breaking barriers in business. We will join them right after this. When I think back on my day, I'm so thankful I used Catering by Uptown. They gave me the wedding of my dreams. Catering by Uptown handled everything. The food was amazing, and people are still talking about it. They are so much more than a catering company. Their venues are absolutely stunning. They want your wedding day to be as perfect as they want their daughter's wedding day to be. That day is a day I will never forget. It was perfect. I would definitely recommend catering that time. Welcome back to Women's Business Report. I'm Deanna V. Seth Nelson. In construction, you wear hard hats because it's a hard job. Traditionally, construction is thought of as a man's job. Kimberly Driggs, president of D2 Site Work, is taking a bulldozer to that thought that women cannot be in construction. Kimberly was recently chosen as Woman Entrepreneur of the Year by the Maryland Women's Business Center. Hello, Women's Business Report. This is Kim Driggs with D2 Site Work. We're here at Merch Elementary School in Washington, D.C. On one of our job sites, we're serving as a subcontractor. Uh, performing the site work services. We're here at Merch Elementary School for the rebuilding of Merch Elementary School and adding a gymnasium and a cafeteria. All the dirt you see here came from the inside the gymnasium, was excavated out of that, and the cafeteria on the other side of this building. We have several jobs around DC. Doing the earthwork um, at the Capitol building. There was just something that touched me about that. Work at the Washington Monument. Doing the uh, NAFEC naval facility, the earthwork, for that particular job site to be uh, very touching. In fact, I'd been to that job site more than any other job site. My late father was in the Navy and he took so much pride in it. And there's just, there was something where my heart was really into it. And so that job really, really touched me. Starting in business was no easy task. Um, started off with a few wrinkles, uh, a lot of obstacles to overcome, getting a team together, getting financing together, all the licenses and so forth and so on. I did, I was very familiar with excavation. Uh, these other tasks were very, very consuming and difficult at times. As a woman, it, it can be challenging, but I still work very long hours in, in the field, in the office. Try to be better every day, learn something new. A lot of um, changes happening for women. So I think the attitudes are changing and we're gonna see, it may not be fast, but we're gonna see a dramatic shift. I think we're gonna have more women in leadership positions and uh, we just have to hang in there. I am on the board of directors of NAWIC DC Professional Association. We work with women in the construction field. We provide support, we provide education and um, mentorship. A wonderful opportunity to give back. There are some problems with women in the construction field that um, need to be changed. That's why I really want to give back and help some of them get through and reach their goals. I was excited this year to win the Business Entrepreneur of the Year Award through the Maryland Women Business Center. That was quite an honor, very humbling. It really feels good to be acknowledged for all the hard work that you do as a woman, and um, I plan on giving back. Uh, I have um, had many instances where people would talk through me, would be in board meetings with other men, and they look directly at them and not at me. When I'm the owner of the company, it's, it's a, you know, you just have to shrug it off and keep going, interact with them, and keep pushing through it until they finally acknowledge you. You don't have to be forceful. You just have to be persistent and I think they'll respect you for that eventually. It is still very, very difficult. Many of the very talented women in small business are not getting the funding that they need. The Small Business Development Center, which is an excellent source, there is the SBA, which ha they hold several seminars uh, and have limitless amount of information on their website. Uh, for, from financing to writing your um, business plan. Uh, they have mentors there through SCORE. 
The Maryland Women's Business Center is a fantastic. In fact, I'm attending a procurement seminar uh, workshop right now. One of the biggest lessons I've learned from my mother, she is my biggest mentor, is that you never give up and you shoot for the sky with your goals. And she certainly has, and she's always told me that I could do it, I could be anything I wanted to be. And a lot of times I sat back and said, I'll never get there, but she, she really instilled that me, in me. And I, um, I hope to do the same for some other people. This episode of Women's Business Report comes to you from inside the Hera Hub DC. Hera Hub is the first international female-focused co-working space where entrepreneurial women can create and collaborate in a professional, productive, spa-like environment. Julia Westfall, our hostess, is Hera Hub's CEO. Hello, Women's Business Report. I'm Julia Westfall, the CEO and founder of Hera Hub DC. Hera Hub is a female-focused co-working space that's designed to support professional women who work from home primarily but need a professional workspace to meet their clients, uh, to be part of a broader community, and to help them, support them, and helping them grow their businesses. For more information about Hera Hub and our membership and community, please feel free to visit our website at herahub.com slash DC. Hi, I'm Deanna V. Seth Nelson, reminding you that October is Women's Small Business Month. Women's Business Report will have a special episode celebrating this important month. If you would like to be celebrated during Women's Small Business Month, email us at info at womensbusinessreport.com or call us at 202-347-1415. When I think back on my day, I'm so thankful I used Catering by Uptown. They gave me the wedding of my dreams. Catering by Uptown handled everything. The food was amazing and people are still talking about it. They are so much more than a catering company. Their venues are absolutely stunning. They want your wedding day to be as perfect as they want their daughter's wedding day to be. That day is a day I will never forget. It was perfect. I would definitely recommend catering that town. Women's Business Report celebrates the underappreciated contributions that women bring to business. Whether it's conferences in Holland and the United Kingdom or helping the Kanye West Foundation, Patricia Green has developed a reputation as a person who links people, organizations, and causes. She's now found the ultimate way to bring people together with her 27-acre event conference and retreat facility just outside of historic Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Patricia gave us a tour of her new venue, and we honestly didn't want to leave. Hello, welcome to Stone of Scone Farm. I'm Patricia Green, and I'm the VP for Sales and Events Production. We have today an exciting event occurring with Destination Gettysburg, and I'm really looking forward to showing you some of the unique features of our 26 acres and our unique historic structures. This location is an amazing source of calm and serenity. The spring house behind me dates 200 years. Actually, that's the length of time that the German immigrants were the original inhabitants. However, this land, we have found evidence of Native American culture. We have unearthed Indian arrowheads that predate the German immigrants. I'm a city girl, and I want to say that because now I'm in the country. So how did this all store it? Well, Bob Rogers is the brainchild behind Stone of Scone Farm, and we met, and he asked me to join him in making this a unique destination site. Because of my PR background, I'm the idea oven. He's the structural engineer. So there was a perfect match there. Hello, Whitman's Business Report. I'm Bob Rogers, uh, part owner of Stone is going farm here in Littlestown, Pennsylvania, a few miles east of Gettysburg. And uh, we have a, a venue here that uh, um, is uh, set up for uh, uh, 
seminars, lectures, uh, uh, classes of various types, uh, weddings, uh, receptions, and so forth. And so uh, we're very happy to, to be open and available for business. What we have happening today is an event that's hosted by Destination Gettysburg for its members. So the best persons to tell you what Stone of Scone Farm is like it would be, of course, potential customers. So we're going to move over to some of the people who are here and find out what they think about their visit to Stone of Scone Farm. Hello, Women's Business Report. I'm Donna White, and I'm with Destination Gettysburg. And today we hosted our Hospitality Heroes End of Summer Social Membership event um, here at the beautiful Stone of Scone Farm. Um, and Bob and Patricia could not be um, any more generous as host here, opening up their farm and letting our member businesses come in and uh, just experience this beautiful, peaceful place. Uh, there's a pond behind me, there's the beautifully restored barn and grounds, and it's just a great facility, not only for weddings, but just retreats, uh, wellness retreats. Patricia and Bob have some great ideas planned for things all year round here at the farm. So I hope to come out and visit them and do something fun. What I found when I first visited this farm was a calm that I wasn't having in the DC metro area. And it's not to say that I wanted to leave that area if, because most of my business was there, but it did mean I wanted to invest in the idea that most of us need a place to go to that gives us time to reflect, renew, retool, such that we can go back to an area like D.C. and be productive. So my, uh, my parents actually bought this property in uh, 1966 uh, while I was still in college and stayed here until they passed away. Um, I inherited the property along with my sister and um, so I bought, bought out my sister's um, portion of the property uh, back in about uh, 2012 and uh, have been renovating the property ever since then to get it to a point where we can host uh, various types of uh, 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 events here. We hope you've enjoyed your short tour of Stone of Scone Farm. To learn more, please call me at 301-526-1089, email me at patricia at stoneofsconefarm.com, or learn more about our services at stoneofsconefarm.com. Thank you for joining us. Hi, I'm Deanna V. Seth Nelson, reminding you that October is Women's Small Business Month. Women's Business Report will have a special episode celebrating this important month. If you would like to be celebrated during Women's Small Business Month, email us at info at womensbusinessreport.com or call us at 202-347-1415. When I think back on my day, I'm so thankful I used Catering by Uptown. They gave me the wedding of my dreams. Catering by Uptown handled everything. The food was amazing and people are still talking about it. They are so much more than a catering company. Their venues are absolutely stunning. They want your wedding day to be as perfect as they want their daughter's wedding day to be. That day is a day I will never forget. It was perfect. I would definitely recommend Catering by Uptown. On Women's Business Report, we highlight phenomenal women who are bringing value to others through their businesses. Dr. Christy Monk is no exception. As your confidence concierge and workplace strategist, she teaches women how to tap into their core value system so that they're more effective, influential, confident, and productive contributors in the workplace and in their communities. Hello, and welcome to the Women's Business Report. I am Dr. Christy Monk of the Workplace Leadership Institute and the Confidence Suite. I want to talk to you today about the importance of knowing who you are in the workplace. I have my doctoral degree in organizational leadership studies with an emphasis on workplace bullying and my emphasis was mainly because I realized I had been bullied in the workplace. But on the other side of that, I realized bullying is more about personality differences and cultural environments. It is important to know who you are as a person to realize whether or not an organization is a match for you. After I spoke with uh, Dr. Monk, um, I noticed a change in my team. We work together as a team and not individuals. 
uh, we were able to get projects done in a faster time. The Workplace Leadership Institute trains you how to manage up. And when you manage up, you communicate more assertively, you're able to hold your manager responsible and accountable for your career and professional development. You're able to align your career goals with your actual core values. And when you're in a place to where you are able to communicate and manage upwardly, you basically have a great stake in the game to where you are on your road to amplifying your influence. I met Dr. Christy Monk in an executive leadership program. Um, at that time, I was working on some skills to enhance my business and to take it to another level. I needed some clarity and some advisory, um, advisory information on moving forward. Dr. Monk helped me to get clear with definite outlined strategies. The confidence we trains you to regain your confidence. Regaining your confidence allows you to rev up your influence, communicate confidently, power up your productivity. I saw about a 15% increase in growth in my business just from the strategies we implemented. So I, I say she is an effective one-on-one -on -one executive level coach. And I've had the pleasure of working with Dr. Christy Monk for the past few years, I'd say three or four years, working to help organizations who are trying to use positivity and the principles of positive psychology to increase revenue, to create better teams, and especially with Dr. Christie to make better leaders. When you walk into a room with your shoulders back, it exudes confidence. And we teach you just that you will walk away as what I would call the influential woman, and she has certain core values. One, she lives by them. Two, she establishes healthy relationships. She communicates confidently, and you keep hearing me saying this thing about communication. She establishes boundaries. She addresses conflict, and then she also and I will say this is very important, she takes time for herself. When you are able to lead out loud, you are able to walk into your God-given power. We decided to work together to create um, a program in terms of different types of workshops and breakouts that we could do for organizations during conferences and doing workplace development at um, different places of employment. And we got a few of those uh, opportunities and have worked together very successfully ever since. At the Confidence Suite, we provide training for individuals. The Workplace Leadership Institute provides training for businesses and organizations. Human capital is one of the biggest resources that company and organizations have. Most businesses have an unnatural merging of different cultures. The merging causes clashes, and we change those clashes into connectedness. By creating a culture of connectedness, employees will become more engaged, and working relationships are improved. Our core belief is healthy and safe work environments create productive, engaged, and happy employees. We specialize in workplace mediation, change management, conflict resolution, and leadership development, regardless of position in the organization. One of Women's Business Report's media partners is the Maryland Women's Business Center. The center helps start, sustain, and grow women-owned business enterprises. Their Start Right Business Plan competition encourages women entrepreneurs to write their business plans, leading to stronger companies. Each year, Maryland's Women's Business Center gives out over $13,000 in prizes for winning business plans. Hello, Women's Business Report. My name is Kaisha Horton. I am the Managing Director of the Maryland Women's Business Center. And today we are so excited because we had an opportunity to introduce all of the finalists to the Power Conference audience and let them see some of the wonderful things that these businesses are doing to positively impact their community. So our grand prize winner was PYT Funds, Inc. Hello to the Women's Business Report. My name is Stacy Wilsonat and I am the CEO and founder of PYT Funds. 
PYT fund stands for Pay Your Tuition, and we are a hybrid financing model that works with families and students to help them get the last amount of money they need to help students graduate from college and get the degree they deserve. We work with the banks primarily in looking at ways to de-risk students where they may their parents may have hiccups in their credit. We look at the students and predict their success. We are very excited to be able to announce these great businesses to the audience here at the Power Conference. Hi, I'm Deanna V. Seth Nelson reminding you that October is Women's Small Business Month. Women's Business Report will have a special episode celebrating this important month. If you would like to be celebrated during Women's Small Business Month, email us at info at womensbusinessreport.com or call us at 202-347-1415. When I think back on my day, I'm so thankful I used Catering by Uptown. They gave me the wedding of my dreams. Catering by Uptown handled everything. The food was amazing and people are still talking about it. They are so much more than a catering company. Their venues are absolutely stunning. They want your wedding day to be as perfect as they want their daughter's wedding day to be. That day is a day I will never forget. It was perfect. I would definitely recommend Catering by Uptown. If you're like most people who can't sleep at night, it's probably because of financial worries. Well, worry no longer. Pamela Sams, president of the Jackson Sams Wealth Strategies, knows how to turn you into a financial swan. Oh, by the way, swan stands for sleep well at night. Hello, Women's Business Report. My name is Pamela Sams. I'm with Jackson Sams Wealth Strategies. I help women achieve financial success through proper financial planning. I am the financial navigator. I am a financial navigator. What I do is help women navigate the rough waters towards their financial independence to really be, do, and have their hearts to dire. Whether that's saving money for retirement, sending them, uh, their kids to college, traveling the world, buying that new house, whatever the case may be. What I find, found inspiring about Pamela Sam's presentation was the fact that she is very knowledgeable about financial planning and financial security. That was very inspiring. I'd never heard of a financial navigator and learned a lot about the role of a navigator and what she offers the community. What I do as a financial advisor is really help women feel comfortable with their money management. A lot of times women um, grew up, so to speak, with un being uncomfortable with their finances. Most people don't understand that most of your money challenges are developed when you're at age six. Today I was able to learn about mapping financially as opposed to budgeting, learning what we need to do with our money, how we should be spending our money, and how we can take the little bit of money that we do have and invest. So what I do with women is really go through a lot of worksheets and work, um, work on themselves to achieve that financial success by going first through their money memories. So the worksheet really talks about what your first memories were with money. Did you receive an allowance? Um, did, you, did your parents use credit cards? Did you... Um, use food stamps or if you use green stamps. That was one of my early money memories. I actually had the opportunity to um, learn a little bit more about the Financial Navigator. I was actually very impressed um, with the program and really looking forward to learning more about my own financial needs because finances um, do matter and I definitely need a consultation um, to, learn out, to learn more about my own personal business needs and I'm looking forward to getting that information. So working with women and finding out their money stories as well would really help them achieve financial success in the future by understanding why they have so many challenges with their money. When I first decided to get into money management, um, it was year 2001. Uh, my father had just passed away. Um, it was Sudden, but not sudden. I mean, we, we knew uh, eventually he was going to pass away. And during that time period, my mother had a lot of challenges in terms of um, trying to deal with money on her own. Um, 
my mother is a, you know, a, a product of what we call the Hope Generation, which was 1930s. Um, grew up during the Depression, so every nickel, dime, all of those things counted. Um, but during that time period, a lot of women did not handle the finances in their household. So my dad um, handled a lot of those for her. Hello, Women's Business Report. My name is Sheila Dixon, and I am here today to talk about my dear colleague, Pam Sands. Pam is an amazing wealth strategy advisor. I've known her for over 10 years, and I have seen the work and the way that she transforms women, their lives, and their financial stability. Most women who contact me are single head of household. What they make is what they get. In the beginning, I would get email 10.30, midnight, 1 o'clock, because they're worried about their money. My logo is a swan. Sleep well at night. I take women from being financial ugly ducklings to being beautiful financial swans. And I'm just really grateful when she is able to come and speak to people on, um, with part of my organization or an event because I actually see the aha moments that take place. And because of her heart's passion and because of the knowledge and the strategy she shares, everybody can be a swan. Hi, I'm Deanna V. Seth Nelson reminding you that October is Women's Small Business Month. Women's Business Report will have a special episode celebrating this important month. If you would like to be celebrated during Women's Small Business Month, email us at info at womensbusinessreport.com or call us at 202-347-1415. When I think back on my day, I'm so thankful I used Catering by Uptown. They gave me the wedding of my dreams. Catering by Uptown handled everything. The food was amazing and people are still talking about it. They are so much more than a catering company. Their venues are absolutely stunning. They want your wedding day to be as perfect as they want their daughter's wedding day to be. That day is a day I will never forget. It was perfect. I would definitely recommend catering that time. Hi, I'm Deanna V. Seth Nelson reminding you that October is Women's Small Business Month. Women's Business Report will have a special episode celebrating this important month. If you would like to be celebrated during Women's Small Business Month, email us at info at womensbusinessreport.com or call us at 202 347-1415.